two of the toughest NFL venues play host to the conference title games this weekend. You got the Bucks and Eagles at the vent, and of course the Titans and the Raiders play the AFC Championship game at the Black Hole. The Eagles 8-1 at the vent, including the playoffs this year. The Silver and Black 7-2 and in the well, not so friendly confines. Now, which is the scarier place to play? That is our website question of the day. Is it the vet? Is it the black hole? Just log on to foxsports.com. Keyword there, best damn pole. I'll ask a guy who's played just about everywhere. Where's the scariest place? It's not place? even close. No? It's not even close. It's the vet by far. I'm talking about this one. The black hole, see, I can, I can control that. I can control it. You got to look, you're going in, into Oakland. It's pretty, you'll have pretty good weather. You're playing on natural Turf, I can't say grass, you know, because <laughs> you're playing on that. You're playing on natural turf. And, and all you gotta do, you get in there, you can go in the black hole and make all the fans shut up their pie hole if you're playing well. But the vet dog is dirty, man. It's ugly. The people are ugly. It's Philadelphia, <laughs> man. The weather is cold, man, and the turf is hard. And every player, every player that walks in the vet thinks about Wendell Davis tearing up both of his knees on the turf and now they probably even think about me laying down on the turf motionless no they don't think about you believe me i know it's people <laughs> I, 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 i've never player. i've never i've never been to the oakland coliseum set to play baseball I, I know what the vets like i know in playoff baseball what the vets like imagine what's like for football when all the savages get out I mean, there's people urinating in hallways and in garbage cans. They, they don't have to take time to go to the bathroom. They, they just, that's the mindset of these people, and they're, they're possessed. So if the Oakland Raiders and the Philadelphia Eagles end up the Super Bowl, their fans will go to San Diego to be the first time in history that Mexico closes its borders. <laughs> it's so these people, they're all crazy. Leave the Hispanics alone. That's Please. what I'm trying to do. By, and by the way, by the way, I think for, if you're a cheerleader, isn't the vet the scariest place? to cheer out That's because they've point. got holes in the locker room. How skank is that? We're yeah. not going to ask Michael uh, about that, but uh, yeah, there is at least one yeah, person. You never, you never, you never you looked in the cheerleader locker room. No, right? I never looked out like... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 For the only big ideas, you know, fashion tips, baby. <laughs> Guys, there is at least one player in the NFL who will vote for the uh, black hole because Titans receiver Drew Bennett, he actually hauled in this touchdown pass against the Raiders earlier this season. You may or may not remember it, but Bennett's parents and several friends were at the game. They rented a box in Oakland. They went crazy after that score. Now, the fans below them started throwing hot dogs, beer, pizza right out there through the window in the box. They actually had to close the windows, but people kept throwing the pizza anyway. So his family watched the rest of the game with pizza stuck on their window. Pizza's good. Okay, beer the black pizza hole overrated? I don't think it's overrated. I mean, we're talking about the Oakland Raiders here in the history out there in, 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 in Oakland. I mean, you, you can't say it's overrated, but when you compare it to the city of Philadelphia, the Vets, I mean, I was telling you guys earlier, I remember a story involving Matt Geig, who formerly played for the Sixers, when, you know, somebody came for a commercial or movie or something, came and told him they wanted him in it, but he had to film it in Philadelphia. He said, hell no, I'm not coming back there. I mean, he didn't, he didn't want any part of it because he was scared because he was unproductive for the most part in his career there due to injuries, and Philadelphia Philadelphia didn't care that he was injured. All they care about was that he was unproductive. Therefore, it's dangerous for him to walk the streets in the offseason. Now, imagine in football and you're not performing or you're a visiting team coming in to take the team down. Oh, my goodness. You, you, something might happen to you. I mean, they, po they tried to poison, according to Kobe, they tried to poison him in Sacramento. What do you think they're going to try to do to somebody in Philadelphia? Now, they, they did something to J.D. Drew. Of course, he was a Phillies draft pick, never signed. He went to St. Louis. What happened when he returned? Uh, they, they threw batteries at him and booed him mercilessly, which they should have. I, you know, well, they should not throw no, batteries, batteries at him. Not brother. the batteries, but booing. You know, they shouldn't throw anything on the field. But did you have players ever come up to you and say, God, this place sucks to play? Yeah, uh, the 25 guys that we were th that were there, uh, the home team said that. <laughs> it's a bad field. It's a terrible field it to play. Is. It is. Uh, but other than that, the city's great. I love the city. They have the best restaurant. Tom, you'd love it there. Sure, I've been there. Yeah, you know, I've been there. It's a great field. place. You walk on the field just as a spectator. Just walking on there, it's terrible. It's terrible to walk on there. You're not even playing. Oh. All right, so our fans, I guess, get back to the overrated question. Do, do we have an impact in the game once it starts? I don't know about the fans, man, but I, I know warming up, you're warming up, you're stretching out, and you, it's concrete. You're like, I can't believe, man. It's, this is a good time to pull a hamstring right now. It's just, man, I'm telling you, man, just thinking about it right now. The venue. Just, just kills play, me. Play 81 games on it. Oh, the venue. Gosh. But the fans want to believe that we have something to say about the, the outcome. Fans Based do. on our Let passion, that, that makes us feel better. Be that to. we can. Okay, well, hold on. I do have to say goodbye to Lisa Guerrero, who will be covering the NBA and the NHL and everything else. And uh, right, we'll guys. see you a little I'm later. I'm taking my little outfit. Yeah. I remember one year that uh, we were playing 
It was so cold, man. And we, I swear, we went on the field, and it's the first time I, ever, I looked at Alvin Harper. I said, God, man, let's just go three and out and get back over on the heaters. I just wanted us to lose the game and get back on the bus and go back to the plate, well, get back to the well, There's one guy how tough the vet is. No. Eagles guard John Welborn after this.